Nope. It's not the Pilgrim colonists sailing the Mayflower who hold the title of celebrating the first Thanksgiving. There were actually many others before them, but the very first technically belongs to the Spaniards. Way back in May 29, 1541, 79 years before the celebration in the Plymouth Plantation. So what were the Spaniards giving thanks for back then? That event took place in Paladuro Canyon, with Spanish explorer Francisco Vasquez de Coronado and Father Juan de Padilla. Together with them were 1,500 men. The story began the year before when Coronado set sail from the west coast of Mexico to the southwestern United States in search of the mythical seven cities of gold. He encountered the pueblos of the Indian tribe Zuni instead. Conflict rose from the fight for food and shelter. Many Puebloans lost their lives. The host introduced the conquistador to one of their slaves from the supposed city of gold called Quivira. The Spaniards called him La Turque, or the Turk. He served as their guide. But upon encountering another group of Indians called the Tejas, most likely in Paladuro Canyon, they were told they were going the wrong way. The Turk confessed to deceiving them, hoping for them to get lost. The slave was eventually garroted. Coronado laid out a plan. He would be accompanied by 30 horsemen in search of Quivira, while the rest returned to Tiwesh where they initially stayed. That plan was decided on the day of the Feast of the Ascension, May 29, 1541. There was a feast and a Catholic Mass, turning it into the first Thanksgiving in America. The Mass was officiated by Father Padilla, who later became the first martyr for Christianity in the United States and in Texas after being ambushed and killed by Native Americans. It was not the national holiday as we know it today, but it was technically the first Thanksgiving celebrated in America. Soon after, Coronado reached Quivira. Needless to say, there was no gold. There was no turkey either. 